difficulties here. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. David. Hey, I'm up. This is hey. David and Mike show. Come here on that side today. I don't know. You want to talk? Oh, sorry. Never mind. All right. Believe it or not, we do not rehearse this. That is just, it's just chemistry. What is going on in the mortgage world? Hey, did you guys hear that uh, Massachusetts, was it um, Friday? Yeah, Wells Fargo and U.S. Bank Corp got hung out to dry by the state Supreme Court. Big time. There were two foreclosures that were invalidated. Um, in other words, you've heard all about the robo-signers last year and the banks weren't really reading the documents and then they securitized their, their mortgages and they really unclear who the ownership is, but then they get foreclosed anyway. Well, two people challenged that, and they won. Yeah. What are the implications of something like that to the person that bought the house? You know, that is yet to be tested, because I suspect this will be appealed to the uh, right. United States Supreme Court. But just imagine if a foreclosure is invalidated, what does that mean? They didn't have the right to foreclose. That person who bought the house might lose the house. The person who used to live in the house that wasn't making their mortgage payment Gets might the house back. get the house back. But their mortgage was paid off. And what about the realtor commissions that, that happen and the HUD? You know, those HUD statements at the end of a transaction are pretty particular. You try money. to undo a HUD statement when you undo a foreclosure. Wow. Wow. So anyway, what's Crazy. probably going to happen is probably going to be a little bit of a caution in the, the foreclosure market, although Wells Fargo um, does think they're bigger than, uh, than anybody because they said in their statement, says, well, this isn't going to stop us from uh, foreclosures. We're just going to be a little more careful with our paperwork. Yes. So anyway, but uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. It could get ugly. But anyway, um, interest yes, rates? I have a question for you. What about the title policy? Yeah. yeah. What about it? <laughs> Aren't they at fault? They're, they're gonna, I don't know if they're at there fault, but they're certainly going to, there. there's going to be issues with that. Yeah, they have insurance, right? So, you know, the, the, the tentacles run deep and in a lot of different directions with something like that. So it could be very interesting to just keep an eye on how this unfolds through the legal system and what implications it's going to have on these large banks and their foreclosure activities moving forward and potentially to um, some of your clients. So we'll see. We'll keep you posted. It's going to be very interesting. Yes. Yes. Um, interest rates. Interest rates are stable. Um, a little up, a little down. You know, some still some volatility in the market, but we're still in the four and three quarter percent range um, on a 30 year fixed. Um, you know, uh, FHA conventional, although if you have conventional buyers, just a, a little side note, Fannie Mae just rolled out some new loan level price adjustments that if your borrowers have higher credit scores, it's a little bit better. Loan but level it, price adjustments. What's that? that? Those are layered risk issues that affect the interest rate that your borrowers get. Things like credit scores, loan to values, etc. Occupancy. Non-occupancy. Debt to income ratio sometimes. Exactly. So when you ask us for what's what's the interest rate today and we give you a kind of a it depends. vague answer, it depends. It really does depend on a lot of factors for that right. particular client. Well, and some of these price level, uh, risk level uh, price adjustments are going to be for the worse, especially on the lower credit score end for conventional loans. So pricing on an interest rate could be anywhere from a quarter to a half a point worse for those individuals with lower credit scores. Now, this doesn't affect FHA or VA, but for your conventional loans, you know, we're going to see some pricing changes here effective now. Yes. Event today. Started yesterday. No, today, actually, the 12th. Yes. Okay. Rolls out on the Very rate good. sheet. So that's about it. I don't know. It's I have nothing else kind to of say. a slow week, but thanks a lot. We appreciate your business. Give us a call if we can help, and have a great day. I always love to have the He's the first one to start the applause. So we move us off I just want to make sure they applaud for you. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, good comments, oh, and I think the I missed everything. We have to redo that. We got to redo that. The,